Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about empirical formula. Now what empirical formula basically means is the simplest whole number ratio of atoms in a compound. Now this might seem a little bit confusing, so I'm just going to instantly show you an example because I think that helps to visualise it. So let's say if we had C2H6, I've been asked to find the empirical formula of this. So the simplest ratio of carbon to hydrogen atoms. Now you might already be able to see it, but if you don't know how to do this, what you need to do is you divide by the smaller number of the two. So for this one here, I'm going to do 2 divided by 2, which equals 1. For my hydrogen here, I'm going to do 6 divided by 2, which equals 3. So then I just need to write this as a ratio. My ratio is 1 carbon atom to 3 hydrogen atoms. So how to write this out now is I've got 1 carbon and 3 hydrogens. So that there is my empirical formula, the simplest ratio of carbon to hydrogen. Now we could even do this with more complex molecules such as glucose, C6, H12, O6. I've got to find the empirical formula of this right here. So the first thing that I do again is I find the smallest number of, the, uh, of all three of them, which is 6. And what I need to do is 6 divided by 6, which equals 1. Then for hydrogen, what I need to do is 12 divided by 6, which is 2. And for oxygen over here, it's 6 divided by 6, which is 1. So then I'm going to write this as a ratio again. Don't worry, you've just got three numbers this time rather than two. So my ratio now is 1 to 2 to 1. So how do I write that? So one carbon, so just see, two hydrogens, H2, one oxygen, O. So my empirical formula, my simplest whole number ratio of atoms within here, this is CH2O. Now, that's how to find the basic empirical formula, but sometimes we get exam questions that look a bit like this. A sample of calcium bromide contains 0 0.2 grams of calcium and 0 0.8 grams of bromine by mass. Calculate the empirical formula of calcium bromide. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out calcium bromide. For example, is it just CABR? Is it CABR2? Is it CA2BR? We don't know at the moment, so we're trying to figure out the ratio of uh, calcium atoms to bromine atoms. So how do we go about this? The first thing that we need to do is we're going to kind of do one at a time. We're going to start off with calcium. So remember because calcium and bromine, each atom has a different mass from each other. Remember bromine is about twice the mass, one atom of bromine is twice the mass of one atom of calcium. We need to factor this in. So what you need to do is you need to do the mass divided by the atomic mass. So 0 0.2 divided by 40 for calcium. Now that gives me 0 0.2 divided by 40. That gives me an answer of 0 0.005. Okay. Um, next up, what I need to do is I need to do the same for bromine. So I need to take my mass, 0 0.8, and divide it by my relative atomic mass, 80. So I use my calculator again, 0 0.8 divided by 80 equals 0 0.01. Okay, so now I need to think of the ratio between calcium and bromine. So again, you might be able to see this straight away, but the calculation you need to do, remember, is divide by the smaller number of the two, which is this one here. So for calcium, I'm going to do 0 0.005 divided by 0 0.005, which equals 1, because I'm dividing the number by itself. This one, I'm doing 0 0.01 divided by the smaller number of the two, which is this one here, 0 0.005. Now if I use my calculator, 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.005, my answer is 2. 
So here I've got my ratio, one calcium to two bromines. So one to two. So then how do I finish this off? By writing my empirical formula. So if I've got one calcium, I just write Ca. And if I've got two bromines, I do Br2. So this here is the empirical formula of calcium bromide. So my steps, first of all, divide my mass by my relative, form, uh, relative atomic mass. If, you don't, if they don't give you this, remember you can find these on the periodic tables, the bigger number on the atom. Then what you need to do, so once you've done that for both of them, you divide both of these by the smaller number of the two. That should give you a ratio and then you just need to write out the empirical formula like that. Okay, thank you very much.